happy 23rd of December, happy 23rd day of Vlogmas. How are we all today? I hope that you're all doing well. I am feeling better than I was. I'm still not great, but I'm definitely feeling better than I was. Um, I don't know whether that's a consequence of having finished work and I feel more relaxed. I don't know, but I do feel better. Um, but as I say, still not there. Um, you probably can hear that in my voice actually because it's a bit more strained this morning. I'm not entirely sure why, but it is. My partner, bless him, on his way home yesterday, he stopped in at the petrol station and got me some throat lozenges. So, <laughs> bless him. He came home with those and I was extremely grateful. So, um, I've been keeping on top of those just to try and ease the pain in my throat a bit. Um, and they're really helpful actually, so that's good. Ah, right, so the day before Christmas Eve, let's get started. I am gonna start with the wonderful Siobhan's, as we all know, this is um, my routine now. The absolutely wonderful Siobhan's Crafts calendar. Now, day 23 is here. As I said before, we've got a big window for 24, tomorrow's window, so I'm curious what that will be. So, let's get stuck in. Be a difficult one, I can feel it already. Hang on, Ooh, I'm not looking. All right, okay, are we ready? Mm, that is gorgeous. Oh, I do love a pink. There we are, so that's today's color. Very, very beautiful, beautiful pink. As I've said many a time, I cannot wait to start working on this or. Or the Woolly Mama one, I'm really excited to start working on both. I've got so many plans because I still need to use the yarn from my Beehive Yarns Wednesday Advent, uh, Wednesday box, Halloween box, 13 days of Halloween. Oh my gosh, I've got so much to do next year. But this is Siobhan's for today. Let's move on to the wonderful Woolly Mama Advent. So excited. Today, I'm going to open the final extra gift that we got um because tomorrow let me show you what's left so in here i have oops let me move that i have oh it does say 25 on it i'm gonna be really naughty i'm gonna open this tomorrow for you all so tomorrow we've got this and we've got day 24 you can't see that obviously today we've got day 23 but we still have one of these so i'm gonna open this today along with day 23 and then tomorrow I'm going to be extremely naughty and open day 24 and day 25 because I want you to see them um, before I go away, basically. So that's what I'm doing. It's exciting. Very naughty but exciting. Anywho, first off, we're going to start with the, the yarn. So day 23. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we are almost there. It just flies by. Right. We are at day 23. How did she do it? Every time I'm like, this, like, oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. So, so lovely. I also need to cut my nails because I've cut a couple of them because I broke them. And then there's others that are long. It's a whole fiasco, don't worry. <laughs> I will cut my nails. Oh, look at that. Very, very talented. Gorgeous. Right, I'm going to pop that there. Now, I am going to open the final gift that we got with the Woolly Mama Advent Calendar. So, massive spoiler warning here. So, if you do have the Woolly Mama Advent Calendar and you don't want to see any of the extra gifts that we got opened, then please skip to the next section, which will be the Zucami Yarn Advent. Um, there will be chapters below. Please make use of those if you do not want any of the gifts from the Woolly Mama Advent spoiled. So I am about to open it. Here it is. Okay, spoiler has been given and here we go. Okay, <clears throat> I really haven't got a clue. Oh, 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 okay. Ooh, oh. Ooh. Uh, let me say I'm extremely pleased right now. Let me show you. I'm gonna be drinking this very, very soon because for those who are perhaps longer viewers of the channel i don't know i have mentioned it previously but look at this oh that smells amazing gingerbread green tea now 
I always have, I do have decaf, but every morning my morning beverage is a decaf green. In fact, I have it right here. Decaf green. You, know, you can't really see it. Decaf green tea. I used to drink green tea all the time. It was my favourite. But then when I went on a decaf binge because, yeah, I went cold turkey from coffee. Yeah, I was in bed for about a day. It was bad. <laughs> I decided I didn't want as much caffeine in my life. Um, but green tea is by far one of my favourite teas. And this just sounds amazing. Gingerbread green tea. And let me tell you, it smells amazing. So this afternoon, I'm going to have this. I think I'm going to have it with my lunch because I'm having quite a, a nice lunch. Um, oh, I'm so excited. That's really nice. And then we also got, this is just adorable. I've got a couple of these now, actually. <laughs> but this one is by far the cutest. So this is... It says yarn rolls on one side, and then on the other side it's got really cute, either llama or alpaca, I'm not sure, with yarn in its hair. And it is a measuring tape. Can you show it? It's not really gonna be. Yeah, just a measuring tape, there we go. No, we're not, yeah, there we go. And it retracts, so press that middle and it retracts. That is gorgeous. As I say, I do have a number of these now, but this is by far the cutest, that is adorable. So really pleased with that. It will go in one of my many project bags because the others have been distributed among my, my project bags. Just really useful for out and about when you're measuring, say you've got to do, I don't know, two inches on an arm or something. Really useful to have one of these. Um, at the minute I just use um, my usual tape measures that don't come with, a that aren't retractable, they're just a tape measure on its own. I find just a tape measure on its own is so much more useful when it comes to measuring my body. Um, I've never tried it with one of these yet, but so pleased. Right, I'm gonna put them out the way because I don't wanna accidentally pick them up again. So we are now on to the Zakami Yarn Advent Calendar. Oh gosh, I still can't believe how close we're getting to the end. Here we are, a dream of a journey. We are still in Alaska. Alaska is our final destination. Um, also, just quickly, I do have Siobhan's uh, 100 gram skein to open as well so I open that tomorrow when I open day 24 so tomorrow's going to be a big opening day but as I say I would like to get everything recorded so that you see everything that needs opening I don't really want to leave anything unopened if you know what I mean right let's get the card we are currently in Alaska just so lovely right and we are on day 23 okay oh this one's ready for me I'm not ready. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. This is a very, very lightly speckled skein of yarn. It's almost like a light dusting. That's lovely. I'm quite intrigued to see this knit up actually. Ooh. It's nice. I really like, there's got some yellows and greens in there. Just about to see that. I did hope I'd get some icy colours and that is, you mean, you can't get any icier than white. Um, that's beautiful. I, don't, I can't remember what yesterday's colour was. Was it that lovely yellow? I think it might have been that lovely yellow. I can't remember exactly. But there it is. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why I've just shoved it in the box because it needs to be out. There we are. Ooh. Right, and just as a little cap as well, I do have a 100 gram skein of yarn to use. Again, it says day 25, so tomorrow when I open all these 100 gram skeins, I will give spoiler warnings when I open the 100 grams, um, because I, you know, some of you may be waiting until Christmas day to open these. So, or I might release the video on Christmas day. Mm. I don't know food for thought but if I do open them tomorrow I will give a spoiler warning right on to the penultimate day of the Toff advent calendar I haven't done any work on this advent um since we last spoke so I do need to do some work no that's day 24 day 23 okay it's getting harder to maneuver this bag because it's got no weight in it anymore 
there's something shifting, just not a lot of shifting going on. So day 23. Okay. I'm going to scooch a bit closer. My apologies. You'll just have to excuse the face and the hair. The hair is horrible. Um, I'm having, I am <laughs> scheduled my hair wash for this afternoon <laughs> because obviously we're going away tomorrow. So I like to wash my hair the night before we go away because then it just, you know, it's nicer for longer, if that makes sense. Not that I can't shower where we're going, I can. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I do it. I just prefer to go somewhere kind of fresh, if you know what I mean. Anywho, right, here we go. Oh, is that ribbon? That looks like, oh, it is ribbon. Oh, that is a beautiful coloured ribbon, that. That is gorgeous. Okay, we have a lot of this, don't we? That's a lot. That's just a gorgeous colour, that. It's like rose. Is it rose gold or... I don't know. That is beautiful colour. Um, but as I say, we've got an absolute load of this. So I'm very, very curious about today's colour. I need to get a wiggle on because I need to make the staff. I need to add the lacing down the front of my soldier. Um, what else do I need to do? Oh, I need to do yesterday's clues. So that was the hair on the dancer the lady in the tutu oh my gosh her tutu is getting a right state now um so the clue yesterday was to use black i think I'm trying to think i think it'll look all right actually um i think i'm going to use black um and then obviously the tutu the the tiara and then we had the roving as well from yesterday's to do um our this man to do his hair and his moustache so hopefully he'll be almost finished as well so i'm really curious this must be for her i'd have thought but i don't know in what capacity it will be used but um curious very curious so today's clue will be out because as you can see the sun is is up it is out so i'll be able to check that out shortly um plans for today i am currently cleaning a lot um the kitchen is getting blitzed because as i say we're going away tomorrow we're not going away for too long but um i really like to tuck the house in i suppose before we go so we don't come home to any nasty smells or anything like that so the bins will get cleaned tonight um so i'm gonna worry about that we have just had in fact i'm not sure when they're due so you might hear a very loud noise from outside because the, uh, the bin men are coming so they are coming today which is obviously not a usual day but we get a thing on the bin to say when the the, ne the next bin pickup is so they'll be here today bless them um what else is there oh I put the washing machine on for its cleaning cycle so that that will be nice and fresh although I do have to change the bed sheets as well there's so much to do today <sighs> yeah there's so much to do <laughs> ah uh, but yeah it's just nice to get those little bits and bobs done before you go away because then when you come home it's not like you walk through the door and think oh what a mess it will be a mess because there's boxes everywhere but it's not a lot we can do about that so i will carry on doing some of my tidying sorting cleaning whatever it is i decide i will obviously get some resting in because i still don't feel 100 percent. i feel i do feel pretty run down if I'm honest um, but I did get a better night's sleep last night so that was good um yeah so I'm gonna have a little look at the toff stuff I think yeah oh I need to make a cup of tea what time is it yes um in half an hour I will make my partner a cup of tea and take it up to him um it's just a habit I always bring in a cup of tea in the morning I'm always the first up so it makes sense um so I gotta do that I'm trying to think what else I've got to pack I need to pack yeah, I've got to decide what I'm taking with me. Um, as I say, we're not there for that long, so, well, I don't think we are. Yeah, we're not 100% sure on plans yet. It tends to be um, the planning uh, just kind of happens as, as it does. Um, but we'll see. Anywho, I am going to carry on doing what I'm doing, pottering around the house and whatnot, and I will check back with you all in a little bit. My apologies everyone, I completely forgot to show you all three colours that were opened today together, so there they all are, in fact I have the ribbon over here as well so I can put that there, a very pink day I think, um, the light's not great, oh if I move my noggin out the way we can probably see it, there we go, 
So those are all the yarns that we opened today, along with the lovely ribbon from Toft. So I will check back with you all in a bit. Good afternoon, everyone. I am back for my final check-in of today. I am, yeah, I'm not feeling great, if I'm honest. Um, I have had a bit of a sleep this afternoon. Um, I felt like that's what my body needed. So I listened and I had a little sleep. Um, I think I've burnt myself out this morning, all those activities that I wanted to do with the house, the cleaning, um, getting everything, the house ready for us, potentially going away tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think it burnt me out. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you've got to listen to your body sometimes. And I did. So I'm very proud of myself that I did. Um, I don't have any updates on the trifle wrap. I have done a couple of rows, but it's really not enough to warrant showing you again today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it you tomorrow before um, before we leave, basically. So tomorrow's video, I will just do the opening of Advents and then I will also show you the trifle wrap where I'm at. In terms of the Toft items, I have done some work on them today. I'm not up to date, but I did a fair amount. So I'm really pleased with myself. Um, I ran out of yarn. Again, I ran out of black and I ran out of cream yarn. Um, but that's okay, those two I definitely have in stash. I just need to find my black yarn, you'll, you'll understand in a minute. Um, but I am gonna call it on the progress with the dolls for now, because tomorrow is gonna be far too much of a rush and I'm not gonna have time to do the dolls. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna have the brain capacity today to do any more. I'm really pleased with what I've done so far, so I will show you, um, but yes, there will be no further progress on these dolls until after Christmas now. But without further ado, let's show you what I have done. So here is the first doll. So this is the one with the lovely tutu. I have now sewn the tutu in, so it's kind of fixed. It does move, but it's only tied at the back very loosely, but there we go. So this is the doll number one. I have used black for the hair, but as you can see, she's missing a portion of hair because I've run out of black. I have got her little bun, which will go on top of her head there. I think it'd be very, very cute. I couldn't decide whether or not to use the black or the silver, but I thought I'll use the black because I don't have a lot of silver and I don't want to use it all on hair because I've got it for other things. So yeah, I thought I'd stick with the black and I think I have spare black somewhere. Um, but yeah, so there she is. I've done her eyes as well. And so she'll have the bun. And then she'll obviously have the, I don't think this will fit now with all this hair. <laughs> she'll have her little tiara as well. So there she is with the tiara and the little bun. It'd be very cute. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. And as I say, she's so close apart from her little bold patch at the back. But there we go. She's, a, she's all right. Um, today's box was all that ribbon and we need to do some lacing of her little ballet slippers. So when I get back, I will do that, that's fine. So that is her. The next doll, I think, I'll show you this one because this one's got the least amount of changes to him. So this is the mouse. Obviously I've given him his little eyes. And as you can see, he's got whiskers, little whiskers now, which are really, really cute. So those were those little, like wood splinters what looked like wood splinters so i've just dressed him in his little cape because i think that just makes him look real cute so if i hold him up next to i tell you what no i'll hold the, all three of them together when um when i've shown you the last one right so the last one i've done the most amount to if i show you the staff first um and then i'll show you the doll so his staff is just a staff uh plum staff part and then there's a um, a black ball at the top with some plum decoration on it and some chain just using the last of that chain there so that is his staff and I have inserted um, modeling wire in here I've used no more modeling wire I've only used it in the staff and um, that that's it um, I did I did get the um, the wire as straight as I could but then doing all the other details, the wire ended up bending. So I'm not a fan of modeling wire. Let me put it out there, I'm not. Um, but yeah, I've done the staff and it is, yeah, I think I couldn't really do it any other way. It did need that modeling wire in here just to make it a bit rigid. So that is the staff. The next 
thing that I want to show you. I'm so excited about this. I'm going to show you him with his hat on because I think he looks great with his hat on. Hang on. Um, there we go. So here he is. Look at him. <laughs> he looks so good, doesn't he? Um, right, let me take his hat off a minute and then I will show you what I have done. So first of all, I have done the stitching down the front. I've used lilac. What have you got down you? There we go. I've used lilac. Um, now I did say that I did run out of lilac quite early on actually, um, but I had some spare lilac from when I made my sweet pea, um, so I had some spare which was fine. Then I got to we got to choose how we wanted to do his hair. So I have used both colours of the roving because I had to, and then I did his hair around the back here which I think looks great. Um, and that's why I ran out of cream yarn because I did, I went excessive with his hair. It's a very nice thick hair there. Um, and then I've used the black roving or the charcoal roving for his mustache. And then I used the shale, I think it's shale or the gray roving for his beard. So he's got a lot of, a lot of hair colors going on. I just wanted to use it all. So there we go. And if I put his hat on, I think he looks fantastic i think he looks so good <laughs> but yeah so that is where i'm up to with him i think this is his his little staff there we go very very cute now if i hold all three together this is going to be quite difficult actually because he's got a heavy head with this hat um i believe we will be sewing the hat into place at some point let me turn the hat around because you're seeing the back of the hat there we go right so in terms of character we have i think this is character two this is character three and this is character one I believe so there they all are so far and as I say I will I won't be doing any more work to them this side of Christmas it will all be done after Christmas now but there they all are I'm really really pleased I really like them um yeah I, I've been I have been enjoying the Toft advent there was a lot more work than I initially thought there was going to be and half of me did want to make one big item um, and I think that would have been much easier for me to keep up with if it was just one big item, I assume, I don't know. Um, but having said that, looking at them all, I think they are really lovely and I love that we've been able to kind of go a little bit, not crazy, but a little bit on our own whim, if you will, and kind of put our own spins on them they're all going to start looking different because we're all going to do different hair we're going to do different colors um yeah i just think it's absolutely brilliant i really really enjoyed it um and yeah hopefully i'll get everything sorted and you will see them completed when i'm back from my little christmas break um sorry i've just noticed is my nose really red it's um it's pretty red it's really sore um so yeah that is the Toft Advent. Let me put them all back in their boxes. They just live in their boxes at the minute with all their bits and bobs. So I just tuck them in, you know. I think it looks adorable, really adorable. But I really like her now that she's got her eyes and her hair. He's in there, there he is, looking all regal with his staff. There we go. Ah, let's tuck you in as well, Mr. Mouse. Um, yeah, so as I say, I've really enjoyed it. There he is. <laughs> Very cute. I have really enjoyed it, as I say. Um, but yes, I am... What was I thinking? Ah, yes, tomorrow's video, as I say, is just going to be me opening the advents in the morning. I'll give you an update on the trifle wrap, if I manage to get some done. But either way, I will show you it anyway, just so you know where I'm at. Um, in terms of videos after tomorrow's video um it will be hmm, i'm trying to think now i will try and get a video to you friday next week i can't guarantee it but i will try whether that will be a regular podcast so an update on the advents where i'm at um or whether it will be a wrap-up of the year i don't think i've got enough <clears throat> brain capacity <laughs> to do a wrap-up of the year yet um but i might just do a little brief check-in anyway just so that there's a little video uh, on Friday next week or this week actually because it's Saturday today yeah okay um so yeah I'm going to try and get that to you next week 
Um, I'm trying to think. Gosh, what else is there? My regular podcasts will be back as normal from the new year. So that'll be every Friday. I will re- I will upload a podcast for you all. And then every month I will upload a month wrap up. Um, this month will be really hard to wrap up. I don't think I did a November wrap up actually. So I need to go back and have a little look at that. So you'll probably do that. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's not a lot else I can think of at this point in time in terms of the new year. I do have a lot of things happening in the next year and um, I am excited to share those with you when it comes. Um, but yes, I do plan on just coming up with a few more ideas in terms of content for yourselves um, because I don't just want to do the podcast. But as I say, I'll see how I do because obviously time... As I've realised doing Vlogmas, time has been very tight. So um, there's a couple of things I need to shuffle around in my life, I think. And yeah, I can get myself sorted, basically. Um, but yeah, I have some, I have lots of ideas for my channel for next year. So I am so, so grateful that you are all here with me. And I hope that I can bring you something in the new year that you will enjoy. Um, also, let me know below if there is anything that you are interested in seeing from me. Um, as I say, my podcasts are usually a just showing you my progress, showing you any cast-ons, any finished objects. Uh, as I say, progress on anything that I've worked on. Um, I also show any acquisitions, if I have any. Uh, my month-end wrap-ups are just giving you an overview of the month. What I finished in the month give you an idea of... Um, how many projects I've got on the go at that time and um, what was the other thing that I talk about in my wrap-ups I'm trying to think what I talk about I'm having a blank it's oh any any plans for the month coming so any projects that I'd really like to cast on in the next couple of months um, so yeah let me know if there is anything else on top of those that you're interested in and I can have a look at doing those but as I say, I do have plans, so I'm very excited. Also, thank you all so, so much for all of your book recommendations. I am so pleased. You, ver you very much turned up for me. Thank you. Um, I have read as many as I can, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, but as I say, I was uh, in bed earlier. It's, um, it's been one of those days. It's been an extremely restful day. So I will definitely be getting back to you shortly. And I am so grateful for all those book recommendations. They sound amazing. So thank you. A couple of them I have heard of before and a couple of authors that have been mentioned I do like. So it sounds like we have very similar, similar tastes in books. Um, so that's exciting. Hang on just one moment. Ugh. I was kind of hoping I could last the video without having to wipe my nose, but no, no. Um, is there anything else? I can't think of anything at the minute, um, but I'm trying to think. So tomorrow's video, yep, it will be short. Um, and I've told you when the next video will be, so it'll be Friday. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I will obviously get you a video tomorrow it will be it will be uploaded for you tomorrow afternoon slash evening um and I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be opening my day 25 skeins yet I will let you know tomorrow but anyway thank you so so much for watching as always it means the absolute world to me I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you in my next video